Right guys, boy oh boy, let's talk about the parallels between President Petro and the former President Obama uh, and their, their nefarious activities uh, that were going on, well in this case in terms of Colombia and Pre President Petro, what is going on right now? Now, so, I'm going to take a little break from Palestine for a moment. I know you guys are finding it a bit rough what I'm saying on it in some cases some of you guys are on board uh, to be honest I'm not too invested in the conflict so you don't need to leave my channel over it and I'm still open to changing my mind to a certain degree but anyway President Petro here in Colombia where I currently am you can see the palm trees up there nice weather it's a bit windy it's quite hot um, now, Colombia has been a traditional U.S. ally. Now, until recently, it's been a what you would call a right-wing state. Although, pretty much every of the last two presidents uh, have been in the pocket of George Soros. There's ties there. There's links to uh, to George Soros's to his foundations, his NGOs, um, and they've been working on Colombia for quite a long time. And unfortunately, even the big wigs, the presidents here in this country, uh, feel very uh, inadequate. They've got to drive around in big trucks because they want to make a statement about themselves. Uh, they've actually got little wieners, but they want to play with the big boys, with the USA. So... Um, yeah, so they kind of just follow the trends. And then you've got George Soros with his NGOs turning up. They want the Nobel Peace Prizes. They want the recognition. They want the fancy, you know, speaking jobs after they, when they, you know, when the term comes to the end. So it's been a fairly right-wing country aligned with the United States, pretty much agreeing with the US on everything. Uh, international conflict, conflicts against stance against China and so on until recently China's been moving in and then uh, we're about halfway through the current president's term he can only run one term they changed the constitution here there's no incentive for the presidents to be re-elected so anyway we're halfway through and the current guy's name is Petro Gustavo Petro. He's a former mayor of the capital, Bogota. And uh, he's halfway through. He's got a... He's a radical lefty. A lot of people say, no, 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 he's not. He is lefty. He's a Marxist guerrilla. There's some nationalist connotations there. Mixed in with Marxism. You could say he's... He's pretty much in the same vein as a Hitler. Now, I know a lot of you guys on BitChute are Hitler fans. I don't want to really, uh, I don't really want to degrade Hitler saying that Petro is aligned with him because Petro is, um, he's all over the shop, okay? He's, uh, he's a stark, he's a stark turning point for Colombia, like I said, was right wing. And uh, his whole presidency thus far has been marred in a complete complete and utter charade of buffoonery to the next level the guy every week there's some kind of a scandal he looks like a complete dork and uh, now if you've seen the thumbnail you're wondering what is this you know what's this lady boy doing on the thumbnail here and who's that geezer in the background well the geezer in the background that is petro the setting is him while he was mayor of Bogota it's quite a while now I think it's like a five plus years ago and uh, the lady boy is uh, that is and this is where we're coming to the parallels with Barack Obama that is his uh, lady boy lover lover so um, apparently and there's, I've got some more to talk about this actually um, apparently uh, they were having some kind of an office affair and I've been having I can tell you now uh, I've got insider info 
on this, uh, I don't really want to say too much, but it's somebody who works in medicine, who has had interactions with Petro while he was a mayor. Um, and this person has come to me and said, on numerous occasions, Petro has been beaten by this lady boy lover here, this shit lifter. Don't know, I think Petro is a shit lifter, or we don't know to be honest, but apparently Petro's been beaten by uh, his uh, lover lover. And uh, it comes in with a load of hypocrisy because in the presidential election, he tried to get his wife, who's by all accounts most definitely a dyke, um, who, there's other rumours, has been beaten up Petro himself too, so he's been beaten up by everyone, maybe that's his thing, maybe he likes getting beat, we don't know, but um, he's been going on at being a president now, this, this, he's got through, this, this current term, this current win was his third try at being president, former Marxist has said, he's renounced his terrorism, his terrorist links, uh, but by all accounts, he is he's bending the government, the state, uh, the military, which is very right wing, to uh, to the ways of his former Marxist guerrilla friends. So anyway, we'll carry on. So that's a parallel with Petro, and it's, it's funny because he's brought his dyke out uh, and he's made her dress up. I mean, she's like a family. She's supposed to be like a wifey, uh, wearing you know more conservative clothes. There was some funny video in the run-up to the to the elections of his wife just like dancing out really in a bad way on a yacht off the coast with some stupid tongue or something like that. I can't barely remember, but she's she's well past it and she's just totally not acting her age. But anyway, there's word that she's got her own presidential. Um, so I'm just watching the football flying towards me. She's got her own ambitions of being a president or in politics so that's a parallel with Michelle Obama or Michael whatever you want to call him so we'll carry on now there's another little bit of scandal and I forgot where it was ah yeah recently now he's missing he's gone AWOL from his job he's the president he's a people's man and he's gone AWOL uh, and at first they started his aides or whatever people he was supposed to have meetings with have said that he's not at work because he's helping resolve the Palestine-Israeli conflict that's going on at the moment. So he's being able. And people are just wondering what's going on. Aren't you aligned with America? You're not backing up Israel here. A lot of you guys are going to think that Petro is the ace guy for being on the Palestinian side. But trust me, he's not. Uh, he's a grifter of the most sliverous kind. So he's, uh, he's got an AWOL. The, initially the excuse was is that he's, uh, he's having to sort out this Palestine conflict no one gives a shit about what Colombia's thinking what they're trying to do um, Israel didn't like that he came out backing up Gaza and you know of course he's going to be backing up terrorists there's probably links between Hamas with the IRA and uh, various different groups down here the FARC the ELN uh, in Colombia so you know, obviously he's old time buddies with these guys. He's probably been meeting them in the jungle back in the day, learning out how to do pipe bombs or something. I don't know. So anyway, he's come out and he's backed up Israel. Sorry, he's backed up Palestine. And Israel have come out and they've issued like now a warning to all their citizens not to come to Colombia. So there's a lot of, quite a bit of tourism gone there. There's a little bit of an Israeli community here in Colombia. We've got hostels and restaurants and stuff nothing too major and um, they've now refused to sell equipment to Colombia as well and you know Colombia's been buying a lot of military stuff probably against Petro's wishes the military is still engaging narco groups out in the jungle there's still a battle for certain departments and regions and minerals and resources uh, and Colombia has shot up to the top of uh, cocaine producing nations again. Now, people who are backing up Petro say that cocaine is the cheapest it's been. That's got nothing, absolutely nothing to do 
um, with the success or whatever of of the peace accords that are going supposedly happening. But anyway, I digress. That 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 can be a subject of another video. So anyway, no more tourists from Israel. Maybe not a biggie. No more equipment from Israel. Israel, you know, military, you know, all the kind of stuff that the Israelis are good at doing um, and Colombia needs. And the biggie here is that it just unfortunately pushes Colombia down the path of Venezuela. Everyone's saying, all the lefties were saying, no, no, if you like the petrol, it's not going to be like Maduro. It's nothing like that. Even the Venezuelans said that this is the start. This is how it began. And now Colombia is just aligned with Palestine. You know how I feel about these muzzies. Uh, not good. Um, and uh, they're just aligned with, you know, Hamas, Hezbollah, the Iranian regime, North Korea. I'm not saying that they're wholly bad. It's just an ilk that Colombia should not be mixing in with. Colombia is a developing country. You should have other, you know, other aims rather than backing up, uh, you know, dubious <laughs> terrorist groups, no matter what their real intentions are. I know a lot of you are backing them up because they're fighting against the Jews in Israel and so on and so forth. I'm not, I'm not up for that myself. So, yeah, he, he had a week off. Everyone's joking about him. But the real reason was or apparently was is that he's got a bust knee actually it's not his knee it's that little it's just the lower end of his thigh just above the knee he's got some mad bruise there it looks like he needs someone um he's got a break you've got a massive bruise and there's some breakage in the skin no sc no no scratches no cuts or anything like that just just the skin is broken it looks like he's been need uh, or he's been kneeing someone or somebody's just kicked him done like i don't know a drop kick on his leg now the high rumor is is that it's this tranny that you saw in the thumbnail of this video. It could it could even be his his wife, you know the the dyke wife. Probably she's a bloke. I don't know. The guy likes getting beaten up. He's got these sort of uh, weird sort of fetishes with guys. Uh, he's also there's rumor going around that he likes dressing up like a you know like a tranny. It's all there. It's just like an Obama. It's the South. It's a Southern Hemisphere equivalent of Obama, right here in Colombia. Now, what makes me laugh is uh, all the foreign gringo tourists. They're all here for drugs and hookers and stuff. Uh, they've got some kind of affinity with socialism. Uh, they'd like to see it implemented all across, you know, the United States. They're the Antifa type, and they're down here making loads of excuses for Petro and even the Colombians are telling them to shut up this guy is supposed to represent the workers and he's taking a week off with like a, a bruised knee get real man workers no workers can do that you need to get to work so um, people are abandoning his pacto his historical pact uh, that he had with numerous other political parties and entities um, and they're turning their back on him the thing is it's falling apart if, if presidents could still get two terms, um, he would not win the second, trust me. Uh, the only problem is, is that he's bringing, he's dragging Colombia down into some kind of a socialist failed state axis along, along with Maduro's, Hugo Chavez's Venezuela. Um, it's just not looking smart, guys. That's all I can say. He likes dressing up like a tranny. That's another. I forgot what his name is. Pet Petrito or something, something like that. Can't remember it. Sorry, guys. He's got a nickname now, and it's all in the Colombian psyche. Uh, it's, it's going around. So I've heard people saying it. So anyway, that's a bit of news from where I am. It's got a slight sort of um, Palestinian-Israeli theme there. Sorry guys, I know you're trying to escape that news. I know you're trying to argue out that babies were not beheaded and hospitals were not bombed with 500 deaths. Hospitals still standing. But anyway, 
I digress. We're gonna. I don't want to make any more of you guys angry. Stick around. Check out the website down below, and uh, I'm gonna try and do video relevant thumbnails like what you've just seen here, just so you can see straight up what kind of content you're gonna watch before you click on the thumbnail. Click the link down below. Subscribe to me everywhere. I'm on all tech. I'm abandoning big tech. Everything you'll see down below on my web free decentralized website is all old tech decentralized uncensorable inverted podcast over and out. <laughs>